princess what do you do when you are pressed for time and you need your hair to look like something i'm going to show you what i do i got this amazon wig and i want to show you how i put it on hi everybody so today i need a quick style i'm literally not in the mood for doing my hair but i have stuff to do this weekend and i i can't look like this so i'm gonna put on this short amazon wig that was sent to me I don't think that it needs to be, the knots need to be bleached, the lace looks good, the hairline probably could be plucked, but I think I'm just going to go with putting it on and then doing any customizations after that and just see how it goes. So how I prepare my hair, because I'm not about to do the ball cap either, I'm just going to um, gel my hair down really good and then um, put a scarf, can't find the words, <laughs> put a scarf on, let it sit for a little bit, and then just put the stocking cap on and then go in with the wig. So let's go ahead and do that portion. So I literally um, have my hair in two ponytails and just have the ponytails pinned up. I'm not about to do any braid down, because like I said, I really don't <laughs> want to do my hair at all this week for some reason. So right now I'm just slicking my hair down and ladies let me know if you struggle with getting your hair flat for these lace front wigs because it's it's a struggle for me. I find if I do the braid down then sometimes I don't get the braids as flat as I need to and I really have to make the braids really small so that is very time consuming. Yeah, it's just really time consuming, but right now I'm doing some got to be free spray and just trying to get my hair back as much as possible. And then I'm going to go in with the scarf to tie it down just to lay it down and make sure that it actually stays. And this wasn't too bad. I feel like it's still not the best best, but hey, it did the trick for the day. If you hear any noise in the background, that's my husband. He's on the phone and when he's on the phone, he talks extremely loud. Why? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to remove this and put on my um, stocking cap. So that's how you're going to put your stocking cap. Feel free to do the ball cap method, but like I said, I'm not going to. So then let's just make sure the wig is right in the back. So I'm just messing with these in the back to make sure it's tight when I put it on. So right here, I'm just trying to position the wig on my head. I think this step takes forever for some reason, just to make sure that when you glue it down, it's in the right spot <laughs> and you're not gluing it all crazy. So it's important to make sure it's positioned exactly how you want it to be. Now this is a full lace in the front. I mean, not full lace, the front line, the front line, the hairline <laughs> is a full lace. So right now I'm just trying to get it in position and then I'm going to cut off the ear tabs. So the ear tabs are just trying to cut around because you see how it's not laying on my ear or over my ear. It is laying over my ear. It's not tucked under my ear like your regular hairline. And I'm also like trying to put it in the place where my hairline is and then I will cut the ear tabs. The thing about cutting these ear tabs is it feels like the ear is almost connected to the band in the back, so I'm just gonna be careful. Okay, so we're all good as far as the ear tab. So now let's get into doing the bowl hole. I think it is better if we do it in sections. So what I like to do is take the bowl hold and use the comb and put it where I want it to actually lay and then I'll blow dry it for a few seconds. It says to blow dry it on warm air and then we'll lay the hair down over it. Why can't 
And for me, it doesn't have to be laid for days and days. I literally like to take it off when I go to sleep. So I'm gonna now go in with the band to complete the melt. Then from here, I'm gonna go in with the straightening comb and style the hair. So I'm gonna use the She Is Bomb wax stick and then go in with the pressing comb. pretty good for the flat I mean the, the <laughs> I think that's pretty good for the hot comb so I'm gonna move over to doing the flat iron now and actually get some style up in this hair and then we'll take the band off and hopefully don't look crazy underneath So let's take the band off and go ahead and cut the lace. I have no idea what's going on with this right side, but we'll worry about it later. Right here I'm going in and just trying to make the lace melt even more by taking some of the even spray and just putting it on my fingers and dabbing it on the lace so that it lays down so then I'm just going in with the band one more time to really lay it down and get that white look away so one thing I realized that I forgot to do was to actually tint the lace with some powder before I put it on my head but no big deal so this is the final melt. And what I'm gonna do now is just go in and clean up the excess um, little flakes that I have with some alcohol and a little pad. I don't know why when I'm recording, like I can't find words, like I don't know words. Like, I don't know the English language when I'm recording. For some reason it's burning right there. I'm not sure what that's about. Now y'all, I have a low hairline. And so, <laughs> when I'm putting the wig on, I have to try to keep pulling it down so that it can get over my hairline. But somehow, some way, 
there remains to be hair peeking through. So that's what you see right there. But because this is like a bob style, it's not really a big deal because it's gonna be covered. And we trying to do quick, y'all, we trying to do quick. So for the final little thing that I'm gonna do is go in with the shaking comb in the front. So you can do it like a further step to kind of get rid of that little white look from the lace. You can put on some mousse, but gently. So for the final step, I'm gonna go in and put this powder. Hey guys, so here is the final thing after I went and did my makeup and all that. So my takeaways from it is that it's something going on in the front that is just not doing it for me, but it looks good too. And then I realized in the process of styling that it actually is either a 360 or a full lace. So there's actually lace back here. I'm not about to cut that because I don't know how to do all that. So other than that, everything was good. I do have a little piece of lace that's not sticking right there. But all in all, it's not too bad in the front. I am a, a novice when it comes to laying down the lace. So I'm still getting the process down. And the thing that I will say about a lace front wig to me, it's not beginner friendly unless you buy it from a company that already has styled it, bleached the knots, and make it so that the lace is easy to cut and the lace is already tinted. Otherwise, there are quite a few steps in putting on a lace wig. <laughs> and, then even, and then even after you get the lace wig on, you have to be responsible for styling it, like I said, if it's not already styled. So once you get the application of the lace, then you have to go in and do the style that you want to do, which, is a good and a bad thing so but all in all i will be wearing it for a few days so i think it'll do the trick for these few days and all the things that i have to do this weekend so i will put all the details of the wig um, down below i did get it from amazon so that makes it really easy for it to just come to your doorstep if you have prime so make sure you look down below for all the information and let me know if you guys have any questions about this wig any other wigs or hairstyles that you want me to try let me know you guys because i definitely am looking for more styles and i want to make sure it's things that you want to see so thank you for watching today and remember good better best never let it rest until your good is your better and your better is your best and i'll see you guys next time